Hello everyone and welcome to Fish Quest. In this quick video, I'm going to teach you how to tie a salmon egg loop knot, which is also commonly used as a leader for sturgeon fishing. It is a very strong knot that will allow you to add certain soft baits or attractants to the loop of the knot. It is my go-to knot when rigging up to do battle with these modern day dinosaurs. You'll need two things to tie an egg loop knot. First, you'll need line. I use a 100 pound braided Dacron. You'll also need a hook. I use nine knot Gamagatsu barbless hooks. It is best to use an octopus hook because the eyelet is bent forward slightly to allow for a smooth transition of the line. In many places, it's the law that you use barbless hooks when fishing for sturgeon. Even if the local laws don't require you to use barbless, I highly suggest you do for the benefit of the slow growing sturgeon. I typically use about three feet of line for my sturgeon leaders. I like the leader a little longer because it keeps the lead sinker away from the fish's head while you're reeling it in. You'll first take the end of the line and run it through the eyelet of the hook and go past the bend an inch or two. You don't want too much line past the bend because it just gets in the way. You'll then take the other line and start making wraps around the tag end of the line as well as the hook. Depending on the size of the line, I'll do anywhere from four to six loops. You'll want to keep constant tension on the line so your loops stay tight together. Next, you'll take the other end of the line and run it back through the eye of the hook in the opposite direction the line came through. Again, notice how I only put maybe one to two inches of line back through the eye of the hook. I only have one to two inches of line back through the eye of the hook because you don't want too much line in the way when you make your next set of wraps. At this point in the knot, this is what it should look like. You'll notice at this point, I also have the tag in line that I ran back through the eye pinched in my left hand. While keeping tension on the line, you'll take the same line that you used before to make the first set of loops and do another set of loops identical to the first. At this point, I'll take my left index finger and my thumb and pinch the loops that I just made. I then use my right hand to pull the end of the line tight. It's important that you keep the loops pinched tight at this point so that the knot will form beneath your fingers. If everything went correctly, your knot should look something like this. I'll then take both ends and pull in opposite directions to really set the knot on the hook. I'll then take my knife and trim off this two to three inches of tag end. This right here is why it's called an egg loop knot. This loop that is held together by the wrap can be open and closed. This will allow you to add soft baits or attractants that would otherwise fall off the hook and be lost. Lastly, we need to put a loop in the other end of the line. I'll then take about four inches of line and double it back on itself and do two overhand knots. This loop in the end of the leader will then be used at a later time to attach your leader to the swivel. This is what one overhand knot looks like. I typically do two just for the added insurance that it won't come undone. You'll then pull in opposite directions to draw this double loop knot tight. The very last thing you'll need to do is trim off the tag end of the loop. When you're finished, this is what it should look like. The loop on one end with the hook and salmon egg loop knot on the other end. The last thing I want to show you is how I store these sturgeon leaders. I'll take the bend of the hook and put it over my pinky finger. I'll then do multiple wraps around three fingers until the line is completely wrapped up. I'll then take a twist tie and use that to keep my leader knot free until I'm ready to use it. I hope you found this video beneficial. If you did, if you could please return the favor and subscribe to my small channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribing is completely free and does not cost you a thing other than a second of your time to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or other tips that people might find beneficial, drop them in the comment section and let's get a conversation going. Hey again, thanks for watching. Be safe and tight lines.